welcome everyone this is ritesh and uh, what i have for you today so first of all the subscribe do subscribe to my channel if uh, you are new to this channel if my videos are making sense to you do hit the like button if you are liking this video that that's the only thing that you can do for me so what i have for you today we are going to talk about tips and tricks with respect to certifications uh, tablet specialist or tax tablet desktop qualification so there are five important points that is more related to the time when you are giving the examination okay at that point of time what you should do or how you should prepare yourself point number one network issues i've put this point over here because i know a lot of people don't know the importance of this very particular point but it's very important for example this is the latest latest example that i can give it to you that uh the gentleman pratikshit malhotra so he had some issues during the examination tableau specialist however he is saying that i had some issues and uh, you i could not reach to the proctor proctor is the person who will be like online person you he, he will be able to see you so your camera would be on if you are right there in during the examination and somehow if your connection gets uh, interrupted in between or you get uh, disconnected then what you should do so in this case he was lucky enough that uh, he got an another chance and he passed that very particular examination as well so prevention is better than cure what you can do is you can test yourself in advance itself there is a link over over there loyalist exam services this is a third party that would uh, act on behalf of tableau and will take your examination this there is a link over there and with this link you will be able to test so i'll uh, try to make and show that this link is there at the tableau at, the, at my youtube description and maybe i can make and show you it's there so this is there you can connecting to the proctor click here i'll click over there this will be at my youtube description so you can go and you it 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 may require up to 60 seconds so while it goes on we'll talk about the other points and we'll see whether we i'm eligible for or not for this examination connectivity wise so you can, you should test this before itself and otherwise on the day you may have to uh, cancel or you know postpone that very particular examination because they will test at that very point of time and after that they'll ask you whether you would like to go if, if for example if there is an issue with the latency they will ask you whether you would like to go or not at that point of time you should say no actually like don't just go because if something happens they would they will not take the responsibility tips for improving a network connection use a hardwire connection so that is recommended wireless connections are more likely to fluctuate i have experienced that so please 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 use a hard hardwired connection and show no other devices are using large amounts of bandwidth like uh, streaming video if you are having mobile as well you just you know uh, maybe switch it off actually you don't want to get disturbed as well and don't connect that to wifi or any of the other devices right restart your router even if nothing is happening or if, if for example if i go back to my test over there let me see the result it is still going on but if you can see the image over there it says uh, let me uh, enlarge it and it says operating system okay internet is, uh, speed is everything is okay but if internet speed is not up to the mark you may have to call your service provider as well so this is my first suggestion to you second was google help button you know uh, uh, it's not a mystery or a hidden secret now but i'll i'm going to tell you about the help button as well you can make use of that as well you can make make use of google you can make use of help button so when i say you can make use of help button i want to tell you that i want to tell you i want to change your life this one and open help this is allowed so at that point of time you will be doing that and it is convenient you will just go and help and search you know you can search as well especially for the one mark questions this can be really very creepy okay this is my second suggestion third one name to fame yeah 
Now, while you are trying to solve the different problems, you can see task 7, task 8 on the right hand side below. Can you see that? These are the question numbers that I have with me. So that I can, you know, if you want to revise and also uh, if you are doubtful about that, you can have task 7 underscore D. So that at the end, you can just directly jump over to these, to, to those sheets over there, right? So that's your name to fame. Other thing is, you should also name your data sources. In some of the questions, you will be joining two different tables and you may forget about the same. Let, let me tell you what I mean to say. For example, if I go back to this one, and if I go back to sheet uh, 41, oh no, not 41, but I have to go to this join and say data source. So in some of the question, for example, samples, these are different data sources, but for example, sample superstore or coffee chain, you are you have joined that. And the next, because the question was like that only that you had to join, but in the next question, you just need a sample superstore. So it won't look like that, right? It, so you should name that, a, that this is join. I would say join, and I would remain, and I would say join sample superstore and coffee coffee chain so that you remember you know sometimes you tend to forget that oh, this is the join what sort of join is there and you may land uh, up to some other data source so it is very important that what you are doing this question number one related to join between sample superstore and coffee question number two if it is related to sample superstore only you should it should be very clear over there so don't mess it up Files missing, yeah, sometimes it has ha it had happened to me and I don't, I'm not sure why it happened, but a data source was missing, right? So you you, are, you have got a remote machine, from there you are trying to solve the questions with the help of Tableau software, but if the data source is missing and the proctors are not the technical folks from the Tableau, so please inform the proctor and take a screenshot, you know, take a, take a screenshot only if they allow you, maybe they won't allow you because there is a recording of that session as well so they will uh, tell you that okay we'll uh, you know uh, they, they will watch the recording at that point of time if there is there is not if there is, there is not a data source over there for a particular question you can just tell them that boss this data source is not there please uh, check this and you can note the time right at, I mean, after one hour you ask this question after one hour or one and a half hours or so, so that when you will write an email to the support at Tableau, certification at Tableau or something like that, I'll get the, you that email alias at my YouTube description as well. So you can define that, okay, at that point of time I had this issue and I talked to the proctor with respect to the file missing. So they can just directly go to that very particular point and they can come back to you so that you may get few extra marks for uh, those questions. If the file is missing, they may grant you three marks for that, or you may have to retake or whatever. But still, it is helpful. It is important for you. Don't panic. Don't stick to one question. That means, man, if you are, uh, you know, if you think that you are very good at calculation and one calculation is not coming, you are not getting the answer. Don't stick to that. Move to the other question. You know, move to the next hands-on question. Don't waste your time. Remember that you have to cover if you are giving a specialist, it's one hour. If you are giving a de Tableau Desktop Associate, it's two hours. So time does matter. So respect the time. You can come back. So there will be an option to flag the question as well. So one is at the sheet level, I am telling you that, okay, if you, are, if you have a doubt about any question, you can do uh, this question task number something and you say doubt. That's what I did. Maybe task number, whatever number you have to give, like question number nine or something like that, and doubt. So the other thing is that at the uh, competition uh, link itself, they will give you an option to flag your question so that at the end, it's quite visible to you. You can flag that question that you have not been able to answer, but at the end, you can go. You will have some time at the end. It shows that you have some time at the end, like half an hour or so to revise. And after that, you can revise so don't stick to one question and you know because ensure that you have covered all the questions and after that you have some time to revise as well 
so these were my top five suggestions hope you liked it if you have liked it do hit the like button do subscribe to my channel and share it if you think it will be useful for others as well so this is ritesh signing off from dancing with data kyunki data hi data hai kya tumko sab kuch aata hai